What's good, y'all? It's your boy Shot Dig. Dig what I'm saying? Today, I got a little something different for y'all boys, man. I want to talk about what not to do when talking to a girl. But before I start the video, I want to let y'all know that y'all going to see more videos like this. I want to, you know, switch it up, give y'all something different. You know what I'm saying? I want to give y'all something that you can go back and look at and be like, hmm, Shadi taught me something. He did, but I got y'all. So, what not to do when talking to a girl? Number one, don't be desperate. Now, when I say don't be desperate, y'all probably like, don't be desperate. Like, what do you mean? What I mean is don't chase her. You know what I'm saying? You can show her you're interest, interested, but don't tell her you're interested. You know what I'm saying? Make it like a like a game. Now you probably like game. Like, why am I playing games? I'm a grown man, why am I playing games? Let me tell you why. It's not necessarily you playing games, but you're showing her, yeah, I'm interested, but I'm not gonna chase to the depths of hell just for you. No, absolutely not. From saying now, let's say for instance she texts you back slow. You not being desperate, you're cool. You know, so you're not double texting. You're not gonna call her, blow her phone up, none of that. Cause one thing my old boy told me, and for those of y'all don't know, old boy means dad. I know I got a lot of Georgia subscribers, but old boy means dad from Florida. My bad. But my old boy told me, if you chase a dog the dog gonna keep running. So in other words, if you chase a girl, she's gonna keep running. Especially if she knows that she can text you back late. She can call you back whenever she wanna call you. She can text you whenever she wanna text you and you're always gonna respond, you're always available. You're always available on her time, it's over with. She's no longer gonna respect you as a man cause she know he ain't talking about shit. He ain't talking about that. He always available. He ain't got nothing going for himself. Why are you always available? Leave. Why? Stop. It's not cool. No girl wants a man. They may post like, oh, I need my nigga to respond. They don't want that. It's annoying, it's repetitive, and it's played out and corny. They don't want that. You know what I'm saying? One thing I learned while I read one of my books is that a woman would appreciate 30 minutes of your time, of your valuable time now, versus three hours of nothing. Meaning that that three hour phone call you spent talk about nothing and just say on the phone and send the phone, don't mean nothing. But let you would have made that a link, let you would have made that a link, a 30 minute link, and y'all kicking it, y'all having good vibes, you can pick up brain a little bit, you can see why she think the way she do, you can see, see why you think the way you do, that's more valuable than a three hour phone call for no reason. And don't, like, let her breathe sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to call her every day, 24 seven, all day, every day. You don't have to talk, like, give her some space, give her some space to breathe. Let her give you some space to breathe. You know what I'm saying? Don't be desperate. Now this mainly happens when, you know, guys get, they finally run into a so-called cute girl or some bad shit, as other people say. It's the same principle. The same rules apply. It's just that, you know, every female has, every female gets niggas, that's just what it is. The cuter females tend to get more niggas. Hey, you can't control that. All you can control is you. You. And what will make you different, because think about it. Right now, I'm in college. I go to HBCU, right? You know, it's a lot of beautiful black women. Shout out Albany State. But every day I walk on campus, I, I see one girl, and then it'll be like a group of niggas. They're like, damn, she look good. Damn, she look good. Oh, I'll, I'll give it up right now for her. Wow, she can have everything. Right? I'm like, damn, like, you don't even know her name. <laughs> like, you don't even know her name and you already saying what she can get just off her looks. That's desperate. If a woman can get all that off her looks and she don't have no substance, she don't have 
no type of value of herself. She don't have no morals for herself. She don't benefit you in no way, but besides her looking good, she can get anything she want. That's being desperate. That's, can't, that's you gotta avoid that. Cause by you, oh, she can have anything. You're, you're worshiping her. You're gonna fall right into the, the peasants, the peasant club, the simp club. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it the simp club. You're gonna fall right into the simp club just for you being desperate, just cause you look good. Just cause you had a, a big butt, whatever the case may be. You know, this is a little mind and shit like that. So don't be desperate. That's number one. Number two, show her who you are. Now I'm not saying go and do 30 backflips or try to impress her. No, I don't don't try to impress her. Just be impressive. And you be impressive by being yourself, being you, be true to you. You know what I'm saying? Say you come across a girl, she like hood niggas. Okay, whatever. You know you from the suburbs. You know that's not you. Now, you would be going against yourself, against the green, against your character by trying to portray this hood nigga image until it's time to be a hood nigga. Now you don't know what to do. Now you froze up because that's not you. Be you. Never try to go out your way to please other people because uh, satisfy other people because people are never satisfied. That's like saying you grew your hair out to get dressed just to say, oh, she like dress, so I'm gonna go get dress. Uh oh, she like tattoos, so I wanna go get tatted up. Knowing you don't like tattoos, knowing dress don't fit you. Hell nah. If she don't accept you for you, it's hey. Now, when I say show her who you are, you have to know who you are before you can show anyone else who you are. You feel what I'm saying? If you know that, if you know your value, now, I'm not talking about value, like physical value, like money or fast cars. Or you got designer shoes. Nah, because that don't mean nothing. I see niggas with that and be broke mentally, spiritually. You feel what I'm saying? I see niggas with that and still be desperate for females, still chasing females, although they got the money, although they got the clothes, although they got the clout, all that. I ne I seen that all. Now, I'm only, I'm young. I'm only 20. Or might be doing something a grown man, but I'm not seeing it at all. Versus the nigga who had females chase him are doing a lot less. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to break it down in more detail once I get more videos in. But show her who you are. For example, are you a man of substance? Like, what do you value? I'm going to take a little time and let you think about it. What do you value? Do you value yourself? Do you value your mental health, physical health, spiritual, you know what I'm saying? Spirituality? What principles do you have? You gotta ask yourself these questions before you can, you know what I'm saying? You gotta ask yourself these questions. What are your principles? What do you abide by? What are some things you will not tolerate? No matter if she look good, Cause yeah, you can have principles, but you can't let up your principles just because you look good. Because now you fall into the sip club. You don't want to be in the sip club. If you're a man of substance, you know what you want. You know what you value. You know what you bring to the table. Not just the table like everybody else said, but you know how you can add value to someone's life. You know what I'm saying? The woman will respect you way more. Women always respect men. One, don't chase them. Two, who know what they want. And three, who got something going for themselves. Not saying that you have to be a millionaire, but you're striving to be something. You're not just sitting around, just rolling and you know, swimming with the flow of life. Because you swim the flow of life, you're going to drown. It's that you take control of your situation. Say, you know what, I'm here, but I'm going to do X, Y, Z to get where I gotta be. Women always respect me like that. So know your value, know your principles. You know what I'm saying? If it's something you don't like, say something. If she continue to do that, it's cool. But I'm gonna say that for another video. I'm gonna get some more depth on that in my next video. So that's number two. Show her who you are. Why, did, why, why would she wanna fuck you? Why would she want to have sex with you? 
because you look good, because you got money. Oh, I'm the starter football team. Oh, I got tattoos. No. Anybody could get anybody could get that. Anybody could be anybody could look good. Anybody can have money. Anybody can have tattoos. What makes you different? Why was she when they invest her time to you? Not saying that she's the prize. But in a sense, you have to carry yourself like you're the prize. In a sense. So you you when you talking to a girl or a woman, show her who you are, but also She has to show you, hey, like, this is who I am as well. You know what I'm saying? Just because you look good, yeah, that's that's good and gravy, but like, what if all you do add to me? What can I learn from you? But, you know what I'm saying? It should be like a mutual thing on that, on that point. <laughs> Three, don't sell. I know y'all think simping is being desperate, kind of the same thing, but it's not. How bad, y'all? My phone that cut off. The last one, third one, don't be a simp. Never, ever, ever simp. Simping is never cool, it's not cute, it's corny, bro. For example, let's say she said, oh, well, I got niggas doing this to me. What you could say is, oh, okay, that's cool. Good for them. I'm not doing it. Like, you gotta be willing to be bold, bro. You gotta be bold. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta be bold. It has to be some sort of line. You can't be scared to speak your mind just cause she look, just cause she cute. Just cause like she your finest girl at the time. Nah, you gotta be bold, don't simp. Simping is never cool, it's never cute. Don't simp, don't blow her phone up all the time, don't call her all the time. Let her blow, it should be the other way around. Cause there's plenty of dudes on her phone now. Have you seen a girl DM? Have you seen a girl DM? It's, yeah. That's bad, that's simping. You got niggas and girls DM talking about some, oh, oh, I can't get a test bag, or you just gonna talk to myself, and all this extra joy. But it's, it's really dudes out here who send women money, but they have never spoken to, never linked with, never seen, nothing. Like they're just paying for attention. Don't be that guy. Trust me, don't be that guy. See, it's two types of it's two types of niggas in the world. You got one, blow a girl phone up, ask her why she not answering the phone, why she not getting a text back, why you not texting back, and all that extra job, all that simp stuff. You got the other one, who call whenever he want to, and she always pick up. And he can leak whenever he wants to. She always pick up. He tell her to come through. She gonna come through. He tell her make the bed up. She gonna make the bed. He tell her go buy something. She gonna buy it. But I'm gonna show y'all how you get to that that level in the next video. But I'm gonna wrap this one up, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. I did. You did. You heard me? I'm gone.